Hey everyone, welcome to Crystal's Food Reviews and Other Things. I am, we're taking a really spooky trip tonight. We're doing a drive through haunted, I don't know what to call it, spectacular, uh, extravaganza really really spooky uh, I don't drive so good at night so I'm really kind of messed up here oh my god there's a terrible big line Oh, I just can't see at night. My night vision is just terrible. 88.5 for sounds of Halloween. All right. Hi. Hey there. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Okay. You have any kids with you? No, just me. Just you. I'm going to go to the gentleman's straw hat there. Thank you. Enjoy. I don't have any children. It's just me. You don't? It's just me. Well, that's okay. Thank you. Good. Bye-bye. Have a nice evening. Thank you. I feel like they was really judging me. Because I don't have any children. Well, you got to be a child to enjoy a Halloween display. All right, let's turn on the uh, radio to 88.5 to hear the spooky sounds, it says. All right, they got jokes going on up here. Why do mummies have trouble keeping friends? Because they're so wrapped up in themselves. That's really funny. I am just really laughing. Sorry about this, y'all. I'm trying to get this radio on here. That's some sort of Jesus station. Oh my God, I, we're already seeing spooky stuff. Oh my Lord. Well, it won't even get on 88.5. Oh my goodness, there's skeletons inside of there. There ain't no such thing as 88.5. That don't sound like a spooky Halloween sound. Oh my goodness. Also, I have Taco Bell. And when we get in here, I'm going to turn on my lights so I can freaking see. This ain't Halloween sounds. these fellas what what's the radio station 88.5 FM thank you well 88.5 is what I was touching and it ain't working this is 88.5 I guess it does count <laughs> I'm telling you this ain't He's shaking his bones. I thought the man said shaking his balls. Alright. That's too spooky for me. I think they might think I'm some kind of weird child molester because I don't have no children. Let's see what we got in our Taco Bell and probably should take a picture before we get in here. It might get too spooky and I might 
get too scared. All right, let's take our picture. Well, that looks terrible. Let's expose the taco. Let's do a real spooky one. Jeez. All right, we got to turn this music down. This is really ridiculous. I guess I'll just go ahead and start on this. Uh... This is your basic taco. You know, nothing special about it. Just a taco, cheese, meat, and uh, lettuce. This is unprecedented. You know, we used to come here as kids. And they got little animals. And they got uh, things for, you know, children to do. They got a petting zoo. So you can go in there and then the goats can eat your children's clothing. Because that's all they ever do is eat children's clothing. And, uh... Then for the adults, they got what's called a beer tasting garden. And they give out free samples of beer to adults. Oh, this is really beautiful already. Look at all the Halloween lights. Oh my God. Wow, my windshield is so dirty. I hate to leave the light on, but you can't see me otherwise. Who was sending me a message? I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm going to let some people get ahead of me so we can really get some good shots of this. Anyway, so when I came here as a child, this that I'm driving on right now was only for walking. Then you, let's see. Oh, there's a little uh, jack-o'-lantern on a big skeleton body. Very spooky. And it's saying something. Anyway, as a child, you come here, and this right here was a walking path. This was not for driving. So this is really, this global pandemic has really changed things. And, uh, oh my God, it's a giant pumpkin mouth. We're going through. Oh, people's turning their lights off. That's pretty smart. I wonder if I should. Oh, it looks like Christmas, but Halloween. Oh, my God. Really, really beautiful. Now, one thing I did notice on the website was... Oh, look at this thing. Oh, look at it. It's so big. Um... On the website, they said there is not access to a restroom. So, if you have to go to the bathroom, or if your children have to go to the bathroom, you're out of luck. Because you can't get out of your car. You have to remain in your car at all times. That's it. Oh, we're going over some kind of spooky bridge here. Taking us to spooky town. <laughs> Taking us to spooky town. Oh, man. Already got food on my shirt. Now, I can hear the children in the car behind me, and I don't like it. I'm trying to enjoy this. The price to get in here was $44 a car, which is good 
if you got a bunch of working adults in the car with you that can split it but if you're it's just you or you got a bunch of kids that ain't a good price oh look at that beautiful it's like a web made of lights now my um meal tonight is sponsored by my friend nikki and she sent me taco bell Actually, I don't know if it's a male or female because Nikki can be for both. Dear Crystal, to help with your next mukbang, Taco Bell has a new menu. Love your videos. Keep up the awesome work. I'm sorry that trolls made you feel bad about the A&W video. I hope this cheers you up. Your fan, Nikki. Well, I tell you what. This did cheer me up. And then I looked at the bottom. $25 of Taco Bell. And I tell you what. That's going to be two meals. Oh, look at all the pumpkins all lit up. Oh, God. We got a mountain. This poor car ain't going to handle it. I'll tell you that. Really. Really. And I do not want to break down on this spooky time thing. This park is famous for a type of horses called the Clydesdales. Now, I think that's one of them up there, a skeleton of one. Oh no, that's a reindeer. Got some food on my shirt. So, the Clydesdales is a type of horse that they breed that have they're real big first of all but the bottoms of their feet it's like they're wearing uh, you know how sometimes when people used to go to raves and they'd wear those furry them furry uh, leg warmers that's kind of how a Clydesdale the bottom of their feet look like they're wearing rave uh leg warmers oh this is really spooky if I was a child this would be scaring the ever living shit out of me too many jack-o'-lanterns just hung everywhere just <laughs> that's the sound a jack-o'-lantern make <laughs> happy Halloween all right my drink I got a pink lemonade That apparently they watered down with a half a cup, half a cup of uh, tap tap water. Because, all right, let's see what else we got in this bag. We got us. And the hell is going on here? <coughs> I did get a dessert. I don't usually get dessert. Oh, what's? The, oh, that's the dessert. That's the uh, cinnamon nuggets or whatever they're called. Cinnamon delights. We'll save that for the last part. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, look at that spooky skeleton. Nothing's hard as shit. I wish these people would not be going slow on a damn mountain. Oh, look at it. Oh, wow. Kind of looks like them uh, buffalo that I seen last. Uh, oh, Jesus. Last time. Alright, this is a cheesy roll up. What it is, is they take cheese and then they roll it up. Real easy. I mean, I can make these at home, but am I going to? No. I do not remember this being this. I mean, this many mountain ranges. Oh, look at all the pumpkins just sparkling. Oh my god. I'd like to see the statistics on the amount of jack o' lantern heads they got out here. And who carved them all? That's what I want to know. Oh, please let's get up this mountain, my lord. 
transmission is overheating. Yeah, that's what I thought. I gotta pull over to the side and stop safely. Go ahead. Get around me. Come on, my transmission is acting crazy. I'm gonna put my lights down so nobody sees me. Oh, I gotta put my freaking, uh, I gotta put my, uh, hazards on so these idiots know to go by me. I told you my car's gonna break down. I'll just tell them I wanna sit here and look at these pumpkins for a little while. Transmission hot. Wait five minutes. What in, what in Jesus' name kind of bizarro world am I in right now? Guess I'll wait five minutes while we're eating this food. And don't say, oh, that's because you didn't get your oil changed. This ain't got nothing to do with the oil change. Oh, look, there's a uh, end of the line, so maybe I can sort of when they get up there, I can drive real fast. All right, I got me a uh, Supreme Burrito. Let's. I hope nobody comes up here because hmm, as soon as these people go, we're gonna hot tail it up the road here. I cannot believe I'm gonna break down in the freaking spooky park. I'm never. T I'm not taking no more mountain uh, drives. My car can't handle it. All right, let's stop. That's the thing with these Ford Focuses. The transmissions get real hot. And they're real bad, too. They already had to re replace it one time. I'm going to pull over here and let this heat off a little bit. All right. So while we're sitting here, we could talk about how asinine the Ford Focus transmission is. Who is she hollering at? I don't know if she listened. All right, Karen, stop hollering at me. I'm having car trouble. All right, the display went off, so I'm going to go ahead. Please, Jesus, don't let my car break down. Because unless they take a Taco Bell gift card, I ain't getting my car fixed. I'm gonna tell this bitch to fuck off. I'm so sorry, my my transmission is acting up. Oh, well, we just don't want your headlights on. Us. I'm so sorry, honey. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll pray for you. Thank you. Bitch. Center in Maryland Heights. Over 30 companies with immediate hiring needs will be there. The event is she got me messed up. St. Peter's, General Motors, Winsville Assembly Plants, North Star and Oh, wow, this is really spooky. I'm so mad at her. Oh, wow. This is really spooky. The thing is, oh my god, that's loud. They played the monster mash. Out from his coffin, Jack's voice did ring. Seemed he was troubled by just one thing. She actually got out of her car to say, Go around us. Mm. Look at those beautiful spiders. She's gonna say, have a good night. No, bitch, you have a good night. 
Enjoy your spooky trip, bitch. I have got food everywhere. And if I have to get in a fight tonight and I have Taco Bell on me, I'll tell you what, I'm going to be embarrassed. Oh. That is really spooky. Now, see, this place here is where they keep all the Clydesdales. I don't know if they're in here. Oh, wow, look at it. It's so beautiful. Hmm. Don't it look like Christmas time? Oh, shit. That thing was real spooky. Guess I'm going to take my car in because it's really just acting. It's just really acting up. And it's, it was a full moon last night, so the moon is real bright. I'm just so confused about this radio station. This was false advertising. I hear like dogs barking. Ooh, look at the spooky, spooky uh, skeleton family up here. Oh! All right, that scared me a little bit. We have like a, a a guy that was maybe in The Hobbit, that older gentleman. That's what these guys, and then a couple guys over here singing by a cauldron. It's a, all it is is a pot. In the old days, oh, it says transmission ready. Well, good, good, because I've been driving on it. Uh, but in the old days, they used to call a pot, you know, that you could put soup in or whatever you put in it a cauldron so at some point they just said I'm not gonna call it cauldron anymore we're just gonna call it uh, pot and that's what they did they just call it pot now I don't know should I turn my head my headlights off I'll turn them off I'll be respectful except to that lady behind me she can go fuck herself Anyway, uh, we got a, this called a Cinnamon Delight. Never had one before. Got some sort of juicy material in it. Maybe a custard or a, oh, this looked like a castle. Oh, wow. Incredible. Oh! Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Oh. Oh, that was really beautiful. I felt like I was in Paris or something. Now, here's what they're probably going to do is... Ooh, there's shit all over my windshield. Now that they've taken you to the fantasy land... They're going to try to scare the shit out of you now, and I'm here for it. There's a real spooky guy walking right there. I'm going to turn my light on so I can see him. Look at him. He waving. He got a creepy hand waving. Give him a good wave. He's like, you ain't got kid. Oh, there's a camel over there. He's like, you can't, you don't need a, a wave because you don't have no children. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm in the uh, medieval times. The thing is, they can't, they can't really scare somebody because if you alarm someone. Oh, my God, my stupid car is overheating again. 
going to drive real slow. I got to stop safely up here. This is really stressful. How much longer is it? My transmission is acting up. Okay. How much longer is it? My transmission's kind of acting up. Uh, a little way. A little? Is. Yeah, you go down all the way through the deer park and then out on uh, uh, Part E. Okay, I'm going to pull over just a little bit for a second. Okay. I'm about to crash into everything here. I gotta pull over here, get this transmission. I'll put my hazard light on. This is ridiculous. Am I gonna make it home tonight? That's what I wanna know. Oh, listen to them little angels now if you go up there they will eat you you eat your clothing now this is extra weird oh sh oh these are really spooky oh oh yes i'm here for all this spookiness and a transmission that is about to explode this will be the first well good it's downhill hopefully that's more helpful uh, what the hell was I going to say? I have no idea. I knew my car was acting up because remember when we was uh, at the place, the um, elk place, and my car couldn't get up that hill? And it's been about a year they had to replace this transmission, and Ford is so messed up. Oh, God damn it, here's a hill. Ford is so messed up that uh, that they replaced it for free. And I'd be damned if they're going to have to do that again. I'm going to wait till they go so I don't have to go slowly up this hill. I mean, who ever heard of a transmission overheating? Radiator? Yes. Transmission? No, not so much. I tell you what, next time I do one of these, I'm going to rent a car because I ain't going to be getting stranded out here in spooky town. Oh, God. Oh. Well, that was a little too spooky for me. Oh, God. And that man said, I said, how much longer? A little ways or whatever he said, which indicated to me a nice way of saying, baby, you got a way, you got a way to go these guys go up there oh wow this is really nice they got a couple of uh, prisoner skeletons uh, that are prisoners oh those poor fellas in jail village of sleepy hollow that's where the fella with the uh, he got the head that's a pumpkin and he rides around on a horse. Now, how did he lose his head? I don't know. Probably some sort of magic. Some sort of spell was cast upon him that said, You no longer have a head, sir. You have a pumpkin head. Oh, God. He's like, But I can't see with the pumpkin head. It doesn't have eyes. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Please just. <sighs> Why is it everything is treacherous? You know, why can't I just have a good, low key, not breaking down? I got stuff to do. I can't be, you know, stuck in a spooky park all night. And I already ate all my food, so I can't, you know, how am I gonna survive without food? Had I known I was going to be breaking down, I would have maybe rationed it a little bit. I think that's the Loch Ness Monster over there. There he is. That's who I spoke of. He's holding his hand in his... 
or he's holding his head in his hand. And the horse is like, get me out of here. And he's like, ha, 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 got me head in me hand. I don't know if that does him any good to hold it in his hand, but that's what he was doing. Please, Jesus, just get us out of here. Every, you know what? It's been a string of bad luck. When I was on the ferry, I was scared to death. I'm like, get me out of here. When I was on the uh, Elk Park, trying to go up and down them mountains, didn't work well. Here I am in Spooky Town, USA. I'm going to wait till these people get up this hill. God, I got so much food on me. Well, I hope that gal is happy because I'm I think she put a hex on me to make me have bad luck. Make me break down. That's right. Next next time you see me, if my car ain't fixed, I'm going to have a rental. Something real fancy like a, I don't know, Ford Fiesta or something. Oh, this is like skeleton land. There's skeletons coming out of the ground. Oh, my God. There's a skeleton that's sitting in the, uh, what's that thing that claws the dirt? There are skeletons. Oh my God, is that a real person walking? Is that a park ranger? Please don't come over here. I'm having enough trouble as it is. I'm turning, oh my God, and over here we got a bunch of tents. We probably have spooky guys sleeping in there. These guys are doing construction. Now, I know they don't work for a union. Because if you work for a union, you know, you can't work past certain hours. Got all these little guys in the tents over here. Skeletons. Oh, there's a little skeleton sitting at a picnic table. Look like he's writing in a journal. Or maybe sending a letter to his pen pal. Please don't overheat again. Please, Lord. And I don't know why I keep praying to the Lord. As if he's going to come down here and, and scoop my freaking uh, car up and get me the hell out of here. Please let this be almost the end. Oh, Jesus Lord, I'm scared. This is my fault. This is my fault because I'm a bad person, isn't it? I think this was their first, their very first night of doing this. And I'd have to say, they're doing a good job. And I got a phone call coming in here and we ain't answering it because, no, I ain't talking to you right now. My car's overheating. I'm going through spooky town. I've already finished all my food. Probably going to pass away. I just don't want to pass away in this place. There's already enough skeletons here. I just want to get home. Get out of here and get home. Okay, we got to... Uh, we've got a little uh, thing. Oh, it's a skeleton horse man. And he's pulling a skeleton bride. Oh, Lord. Oh, those skeletons are affixed onto a... Oh, no, they're really close to the street. Hey there, fellas. They're like, ah. We got a mortician over there. He looks to be at least uh, 105 years old. Oh, we got smoke coming out of there. And that That's the church. That little church is on fire over there. Oh, this is really cute. Now we have a, a web of spiders. There's just spiders all over it. Just big ones and little ones. Don't want nothing to do with spiders, I tell you that. I ain't scared, but... Oh, Lord, get me out of here. All right, we've got some very large... Uh, I don't know how to explain these. Leaf men. 
Maybe like a leaf woman. I can't tell. Leaf people. Alrighty. And then we're going to turn here. Some adults sitting, waving at me. Because they're like, why is this older woman here without children? And I'm not going to answer that. Because I'm a freaking weirdo. Happy Halloween, fella. Is this the end? Let me out of here. Shoot. Don't forget to turn your headlights on. That's a good reminder for anybody. Got some policemen up here. Well, I'm going to get off of here now because uh, see if I can make it home. He said, come on, come on. Don't rush me. I'm a gal of leisure. Don't rush me. So I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for joining me for this Halloween spectacular. I don't know if I'll ever get home to upload this. And he'll let my neighbor edit it. We'll see. So, thank you. Bye-bye.